Hi, my name is Kira Wade, and I'm here with my Nana, Frances Ponzi, who is going to talk today about how the civil rights movement affected her life growing up. And let's just start with, can you give us an introduction about who you are? I was born in Santa Barbara, California. I lived in Santa Barbara for my first four years, and my grandmother kept uh, taking my paternal grand my you know, paternal grandmother would always take me without permission from my parents. So after a while, then they decided to move to Norwalk, California, with my other grandmother, which was my mother's mother, and we lived in her garage for until we could afford a house. I have a seven siblings. I have five sisters and two brothers. My father was a Greyhound driver and my mother was in this uh, factory worker. Thank you for that really wonderful introduction, Nana. Um, moving on, let's ask the first question. How did the civil rights movement impact your everyday life? Well, I went to a Catholic school through elementary and high school. So, as far as personally, it didn't really affect me that much. But as far as my environment, uh, you know, just seeing people of different races and color be treated differently, um, that did impact me. I, I, since I'm of Hispanic culture, and my skin color is brown, and I know what it's feel what it feels like to be treated differently by the color because of the color of your skin. Um, it would impact me too. Yeah, that definitely was impactful to your life. And I was also wondering, did the riots also have that big of an impact on your life as well? Uh, they were in Watts, and that was probably about. I know probably 15 miles from me, so not close, but not real far either. Uh, and I remember getting scared because I remember watching it on TV and seeing the looting and the vandalism and just people just not caring. There was no respect for other people's property or for life. And, that was a scary situation to be in. Mm. And you, you were telling me earlier there was like a curfew? Yes, we, at that time it was a 10 o'clock curfew. So if you got caught after 10 o'clock, they would arrest you. And because you went through all this, what opinion did you have of the civil rights movement as it was happening? I thought that, and I still do, that every human being has the right to live a, a a productive, peaceful, and happy life. And I, like I said, I'm very strongly about equal rights for all people. Not just, we shouldn't be judged by how much money we make or by the color of our skin or how smart we are. I think that there's a clearer understanding as each generation continues to grow, to be treated with respect and common courtesy and to respect her dignity most of all. Wow, Nana, you really have gone through so much in your life. And I really, really appreciate you taking this time to talk to me about it and letting me get a deeper insight about how things affected you growing up, and especially the civil rights movement. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciated this talk. I really did learn a lot from you, talking about your experiences and hearing about it. And I'm so glad I had the opportunity to get to know about these experiences. I don't think I would have really maybe got to know as much as I did if I didn't have this interview and this talk with you. And I'm very thankful that you were able to share. I really did learn a lot about you. And I really appreciate when you talk to me about these things because it gives me a deeper understanding of who you are. And I'm glad I got to, you know, record this and be able to share it with everyone. I think it's very important and... I think it's very important to understand other people's experiences during this moment, and I'm very thankful I could share it with everyone here. So thank you again, Nana, and I really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day.